this is an AC motor controller you can look at it as an AC to AC step down voltage regulator but in reality it kind of chops off the sine wave I, I mean you won't get a clear sine uh, power output but it's good for motors and for heating elements so anything digital you have to have a proper power supply to convert voltages this is just for motors and uh, heating elements so the model number is MY9892 and it can support up to, up to 2000 watts uh, peak but it says in the documentation that it can only output 1200 watts continuous so to set the voltage uh, you use I mean this potentiometer is already set because the main component can't output uh, less than 50 volts so that's the minimum at, and it's probably set from this potentiometer and from this one you can adjust from 50 to 220 maybe higher I don't uh, know exactly how it works if the input is 240 maybe it should go up to 240 so you have to wire up the input neutral line line neutral and the neutral is just connected directly and it works with the two line uh, leads as you can see they even had to straight strengthen the circuit board with some solder because it has to support the uh, thousand two thousand watts so yeah that's how it works they say it's kind of like a DC to DC step down voltage regulator but not really because chopping the sine wave that is uh, not really healthy for most uh, appliances just for primitive appliances that have a motor or a compressor or whatever else a heating element there may be other stuff but oh yeah uh, light bulbs this can al also be used for light bulbs it can it can be used as a dimmer for yeah like 10 classic light bulbs 10 100 watt classic light bulbs LED light bulbs usually don't support such things they just uh, regulate the voltage to whatever it's set in the factory you can <laughs> decrease the input to 100 volts and it will have the same brightness so yeah some support it the more expensive ones but uh, yeah usually not so yeah that's all there is to say about this people also use it for like soldering irons it's uh, very useful for that if you have a soldering iron without a temperature control you can decrease the power and then uh, with trial and error you can set it to uh, the temperature you want so it won't melt everything while you're working just the soldering points you're working on so yeah with this two dollar uh, circuit you can make a pretty useful soldering iron to do your work safely with a cheap soldering iron like um, four or five dollars how much does it cost five dollars yeah two dollars plus five dollars and you have a mostly professional soldering iron so yeah that's it